Durut Salam. So, so we have Brian Ortega versus Alexander Volkanovsky. Um, I, I guys, I gotta make this video while I do my kata. So here's what's up. Okay, so Volkanovsky is quicker. He's got a longer reach. He's shorter, and he is on his feet better. And he can do the little Lomachenko turns. It's it's his striking is better. It just is. His quickness is better, and he can drive or take it to the cage. And if that was it, he would win this match. But here's the deal. Brian Ortega is a first degree black belt under Henner Gracie. We've seen Brian Ortega beat up a striker in striking with the Korean zombie. Is Volkanovski a better striker than the Korean zombie? Maybe, maybe not, but he's certainly a better athlete in his prime at a better stage in his career. So let's not um, take anything away from Volkanovski. So with that said, if this thing goes to jitsu at all, then Volkanovski is finished. Because Henry Gracie, I don't care who Volkanovski's brown belt is under, it ain't Henry Gracie. If it was the other way around, Volkanovski was a black belt under Lopez, and Ortega was a brown belt under Henry Gracie, I would call it for Ortega. Because I believe in Henry Gracie, Henzo Gracie, I believe in... Uh, Whoever the other, the other guys, um, Hickson's son, whoever that is, the the Gracies that compete a lot and do very well in all the international um, submission grappling tournaments. So, what is Ortega's game plan? Stay in the middle of the cage, fight here, go down, go down to jitsu. There is incredible striking that's out of New Zealand and Australia. Those guys are very impressive. Their game is just impressive. And if we can Habib somebody to the cage, then you have the fullest multiplier and it just works out better for everyone um, on, on your team. As soon as you can push into the cage, especially if you can push into the cage by your coach, that works out the best. Now, is that something that is incredibly doable for Volkanovski? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, but like I said, Ortega striking shouldn't be uh, under um, whatever, undervalued, so on and so forth. Okay, I can't talk the video. I can't. I can't talk and think. Um, so, so so we've just seen Ortega take a striker. And beat him in striking with the Korean zombie. We know that Volkanovski loves to do one thing, and that is attack and drive his opponent to the cage. We know that if if you chase a a very good Brazilian jiu-jitsu guy, if you're moving towards him, you're gonna get taken down. Um, the pull guard, drop guard, sit guard, whatever. Uh, they, can, they can do that. I, personally, for me, I would just go for a hip, get low, and then trip, uh, Ashi Garuma style. Um, but what I'm getting at is Brian Ortega is, he can take someone who is trying to strike coming at him. I mean, there's even the Uchi, there's, there's all kinds of things there. Um... But landing the Uchi might be a little bit more difficult, but definitely coming in and getting the underhook for an Ashi Garuma or a uh, Tayatosh style drop Tayatosh 
style. Um, in order to get down and go to mount, both of these guys can pass guard. So I'm not worried about anybody getting into guard. Volkanovski's got those long arms that whenever he gets into guard, he just strikes from guard um, and it opens up the, the guard so he can pass. It's a matter of if Volkanovski gets Ortega on the cage while just hammering strikes, then Volkanovski obviously can win this thing. He's got a lot more pop, a lot more sizzle than people give him credit for. Um, with that said, he's not just engaging. He's not just engaging. So I wouldn't be afraid to trade. Not me personally, Brian Ortega. You can trade a couple. Just keep it in the middle. Just keep it in the middle and... It comes down to takedowns. And this is why people got to do judo. This is why people got to do sambo. Because it always comes down to position from the takedown. And that's why you see Brazilian jiu-jitsu. All these guys are working on their top control. All these guys are working on their striking. And all these guys are working on their takedown. The advanced stuff. The black belt judo stuff. Not just your simple garuma. Not just your... Your tomonage, which it has to be an underhook tomonage because you got no gi, obviously. Um, but but a wrist ashigaruma, I don't see why they. I mean, or even just the underhook wrist ashigaruma or underhook wrist tatosh. I personally would just go around the waist because these guys are really really in shape. So you can you can get in. All you need is one. And then pop down for the Hurai style or Ashigaruma style, depending on how much of the hip is in. And all right, we're not here to talk about how to define judo throws. Ha <laughs> ha! So if I was Brian Ortega, I would meet him in the center, throw a couple, throw a couple. If he started to chase me, I would turn, go for the underhook, come down in some sort of Ashigaruma, um, try to get. Top position, S guard mount, arm bar, that type of thing. Or S guard mount, arm bar, fake the arm bar so you can take the back for a shimiwaza. Or take him down and immediately try to flip him and go for the shimiwaza. Or for those that don't, I mean, if you can't tell, I've been doing a lot of judo. So, uh, underhook turn down, go down. And then immediately try to turn for the choke or try to get the arm bar. Personally, my arm bar, I like to do. So the typical arm bar, you go down, you grab the arm, and then you, you roll back. Or sometimes they, you roll back like this. That's not my favorite arm bar. My favorite arm bar is to, is to do a takedown. You still have one hook, reach down to the armpit or underneath the triceps and then come in and pull up it's a little bit harder to land um, obviously with no gi so trap in the shoulder with the leg squeezing and then pull it up is uh, is a little bit more of a stable arm bar but if if i'm brian ortega and i'm going against somebody who's got such a reach advantage i'm going to try to take them down Control one arm, then immediately come in here and pull pull back for the, the arm bar where I'm safe because if he gets out, then his shoulder is over. I can come in for the choke. So with that said, I am going to call Brian Ortega on sheer gut because Volkanovski has got enough to knock him out. If Volkanovski can chase him down to the cage and keep beating on him. Volkanovski can knock him out. Volkanovski can knock him out pretty quick. But if Brian Ortega can take him down, the jitsu is not even close. Brian Ortega's jiu-jitsu is way better. Chorda. Chorda Hafez. Chorda Hafez.